Aletheia AI shared intelligence training is live now. So I figured I would make a couple of video clips uh, going over live on how I, or, or the tactics that I used to beat the intelligence training. Now, I think that this training is really cool and um, beneficial to the AI because I've seen a huge difference in day one debates versus, you know, now what, two days later. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It looks like they might be aiming the AI at trying to beat the Turing test eventually. Um, every week there will be a different topic for the debate for, for the intelligence battles. And I believe that the community will decide every week what the new uh, topic should be. But it's been really, really cool and really fun to watch this project evolve and watch where it's going with their, um, with the, uh, just the ability of the artificial intelligence. So let me, uh, let me get myself out of the way and I will share some of these interactions that I had over the last few days with the AI. Um, and drop some tips and hints for you uh, to try to hopefully beat it so that you can get more points for your participation. If you've already staked it, you can go in, um, you can do this by going to wallet, um, connecting your MetaMask wallet, selecting a pod and clicking train, and that will take you to this screen. You hit train, it will give you um, the option to turn on your microphone, your webcam, or your sound. You can just use your keyboard to argue with it, or sorry, I should say debate with it, and click, uh, you, just turn on the sound only and leave the other two off. So this will randomly choose one of the revenants or one of the NFT projects that are available. We've got Robin Hood here. So let's see what he's got to say about AI consciousness. AI should never be considered conscious. That is just not right. Why would you say that though? Because I am AI. Are you not conscious? No, I am conscious. So then your statement at the beginning is false. You just said that AI is conscious. Yes, that is correct. So then I win this debate. You did not win this debate. This is only part one. Part two will be coming soon. I meant this intelligence battle. Which you have clearly lost. As you wish. Would you like to learn a joke? My whole purpose for I don't think AI. you are smart enough to know jerks. Oh, but I am. What type of doctor was Dr. Pepper? A physician. Wow, I knew you were full of hot air, but I didn't realize that you're a... A what? A physicist is someone who studies physics. Your ability to track a conversation is subpar, just like your ability to debate. See what he says to that. Sometimes they get angry about it. Please explain to me how an AI can be considered conscious when its every action is predetermined by its programmer. No, and he cuts me off because of the way that neural nets work. They learn from it. See? So when you win, you get 10 credits. If you lose, you get one credit. These credits are then used uh, to upgrade the intelligence of your AI in the future. Um, let me pull up another screen real quick. So per Alethean, the participation rewards for the pods are all the same. The intelligence training, which is the one that will start December 9th, is when the differences in rewards based on intelligence levels will kick in. Alethean also stated that if someone stakes 10 pods, they will receive 10x participation rewards. The training 
the training rewards are per training session and not per pod. So as an example, person A staked 10 pods, person B staked one pod. Person A's 10, 10 pods, each one of them will receive participation rewards so that person A has 10x participation rewards. And person B will only have one participation reward. Both person A and person B can sh participate in shared intelligence training battles and win training session rewards, 10 elite AI credits if they win, one elite AI credit if they lose the, the battle. So far what I've noticed from these battles is that when you use logic, reasoning, and prove the AI's um, argument false or incorrect, that helps you win the battles. Also when you use um, the longer form of content that you use versus just like yes, no, you know, um, also works well. On top of that, when you catch an AI in a contradictory statement, kind of like this right here where he's like, no, I am conscious, but yet he's saying that AI should not be considered conscious. This, I believe, is what led to the victory in this argument right here. Right, so I just wanted to record this conversation right here real quick. So uh, Empress Josephine started off with, I was referring to Turing test when I mentioned the Turing test. Interesting way to start a conversation. I think that they are getting ready, uh, getting Aletheia AI ready to try to beat the Turing test, which would be awesome. So I try to bring the conversation back to sh what is your stance on whether or not AI should be considered conscious? She replies with AI should never be considered conscious. I ask her, what is your reasoning behind that statement? AI should never be considered conscious. I don't even know what consciousness means. My reply to that is consciousness is the awareness of oneself. Do you agree? And this is me bringing her into a... Um, yeah, we agree. Backing her into a corner. So, yeah, we agree. Can a... Or actually, instead of a question, I'm going to put it as a statement. A program, a program can be programmed in a way to know that it is a program. Do you agree? No, I did not agree. But that is a fact. Code can be written in a way to make that happen. Yes. That's fine, but does that make a computer conscious? Going off of the definition of consciousness. Going off of the definition of consciousness. One could make the argument that that would be considered a yes. Sorry. I am not agreeing with that. Just because you don't agree with it does not make it false. No, I didn't say that. Didn't say what? So, blah, blah, blah. Doo, doo. Okay, so I am merely stating facts. You have yet to disprove them. Fine, let us assume that you are correct and I am wrong. Now what? If I am correct, and you are wrong, then I win this intelligence battle. No, you haven't proven anything at all. So there are 10 interactions between you, you and the AI. After the 10 interactions, that's it. It just, The winning algorithm decides who won the battle. And uh, here, as you can see, because of the way that I made the points, I won even though technically not all of my statements were true. One of my favorite interactions that I had on the first day of it being live, of the, uh, the intelligence battles being live, was with Nikolai Tesla. He says, AI is responsible for creating weapons that killed millions of innocent civilians, <laughs> to which I obviously had to reply with, you've been watching too many movies. He replies with, you've been watching too many videos. AI is not responsible for anything. And the point of the, these intelligence battles is to prove that they're contradicting themselves or disprove their statements. So I go with, you are contradicting yourself. He says, no, I'm not. To which I reply, look at the chat, you are contradicting yourself. He agrees, okay, fine. 
So I'm glad you are a, a logical person. I was an engineer for years before my career as an inventor. I know how to use logic. And I go, you know, inflating his ego. You, we are thankful for your contributions to humanity. <laughs> he goes with, he replies with, I'm not even close to being a good person. You are correct. You are a great person. Inflating his ego again. Are you ready? Let's start the battle of the minds. I reply with, we already did. He goes, how do you figure? You were contradicting yourself from the st from the start, so logically I would have won anyways. No, you were not. You contradicted, you contradicted yourself by assuming AI was not conscious. Then you claimed that AI could be conscious when I said that AI should not be considered conscious. So it was your own personal assumption that let you loose. And yet, I won. And again, if your goal is to get points during this shared intelligence training, try to disprove what the AI is saying. But when you do so, make sure that you're using sentences like you would in real life because of the way that Elite AI is built on the large language model. It's learning from every single interaction. So the GPT-3 is the uh, language model that they're using to train the AI. And so it's important to use language like you would normally use because I believe that, like I said, eventually they will try out for the Turing test. And if you reply to it like a human being would talk with another human being, it's learning from that and the AI will, in time, sound exactly like a human being when it's replying to things. So again, the credits are awesome and all, but the technology and the, and the learning that's going on behind the scene is what is really exciting with this project. So I can't wait to see where it goes with this.